Mama, come in. So I love my apartment. It's not very big as you can see, but I'm not a very big person, so I don't need that much space. I like having a small, nice apartment rather than having a very large, not so nice apartment. So it equals out, I think. There are pros and cons about both, but I love where I live, and as you can see, I have a beautiful view of Lake Michigan. Dear to my heart, this is my Rusty. He is my dog. He's six years old, and he is the man of my life. But it breaks my heart not to have him with me, which is why I started Cold Nose Nanny. My boy Rusty, he's got a really cold nose. <laughs> and every time he wants you to pet him, he sticks his little cold nose up in your hand, and you're like, oh, startles you a little bit, then it's okay. Anyways, love you, Rusty. Wish you could be here, man. You already met my dad. And then obviously my mother and brother and the brother's girlfriend. She fits right in this family. Anyways, that was when my brother graduated. The day actually did come. <laughs> we weren't really sure he was ever going to graduate. He was kind of on like the party central track, but he made it. We're proud of him. And I made it too in less time than him. Um... Ready? Yeah. Okay. This is Olive. She's my favorite puppy of all my puppies. Um, I'm the Cold Nose Nanny. I started a dog walking service. So the cold nose comes from the dog's cold nose, not my cold nose. But this is Olive. She's my favorite of all the dogs I walk. Oh, say hi. Say hi, Olive. Hi. She snores <laughs> a lot. Oof. Okay, good job. You like this better? This is Olive. She is my favorite of all my dogs that I walk. She is a French Bulldog, and I am the Cold Nose Nanny. I started a dog walking service since I couldn't be with my boy Rusty all the time. Olive is my favorite of all my puppies. And Cold Nose Nanny isn't my cold nose, it's the dog's cold nose. So anyways, this is Olive, and say, hi, nice to meet you. Love you, Olive, give me kisses. Olive gives great kisses. <laughs> okay. my hometown date, the bachelor who meet my family, my mother and father who have been married for 31 years, I know, doesn't happen often anymore, but they still actually like each other, which is pretty surprising because most people, I find they don't really like each other after 31 years, but they definitely do. It's kind of creepy, sometimes. And they would meet my brother, who is 31 years old, surprisingly. I can't believe that they made it through his birth and his life, because it's like kind of a rowdy one. We go boating, we play with the dogs. I'd show them around North Muskegon, and it's a beautiful place, beautiful. It's like a little island peninsula in the middle of, a lot of people think it looks like Dawson's Creek. So imagine that on a hometown day, gorgeous. As I said, I live in Chicago, and last summer I worked at the Chicago Yacht Club. You can see all the sailboats, it was a great place to work. I enjoyed it for the summertime, it was a great summer job. I love Chicago, and I love all that it has to offer. I'm never, ever, ever bored here. There's always something to do. There's always something free to do. There's always something expensive to do. But there's definitely always something fun to do, which I enjoy because I'm a very active person and I always like to be doing something because I'm always like, have to be doing something, going somewhere, yada, yada, yada. But I'm from a small town in Michigan and I lived on the east coast of Lake Michigan and now I've transferred myself to the west coast of Lake Michigan and I love it here. 
when I was little, I always said, I am going to live in Chicago no matter what when I grow up. Because every year we always took a trip for Christmas to Chicago with my mom and my dad and my brother, who is older than me. And we would come here and I would just think Chicago was the coolest place ever. The big buildings, all the shopping. We always went to Michigan Avenue and like being on Lake Michigan but being in a big city is really different than being on Lake Michigan in North Muskegon where I'm from. You know, it's just like a small little town, lots of local people gather at the beach and play hacky sack, do whatever, have cookouts, and here it's like there's an entire different world that lives on Lake Michigan and it's awesome and I love it here and I, I can't believe I actually live here, especially after all my life thinking someday I'm going to live in Chicago, someday, and I never thought it would really happen, but it did and I'm glad that it did. It's safe to say that when The Bachelor meets my family, the other girls might as well throw in the towel because my family's pretty cool and when most people meet them, they try to figure out a way to be in my family, so it's not easy to get to this part. That's all for now, but thank you for considering me and I'm sorry this was short and I didn't get to show you all the wonders of Chicago, but my mom sprung this on me last minute by surprising me and nominating me for this wonderful, wonderful event in my life. And hopefully I will get to meet all of you and I will get to share my past love history with each and every one of you. So, I look forward to that. Thank you.